This lesson is on ratios. Ratios are expressions that compare quantities. In this example, we'll compare the number of triangles to the number of squares. First, we'll organize our information, and we can see there are six triangles to four squares. We can express this in a ratio as six to four. Six to four is called a two-term part-to-part ratio, meaning the first term represents a certain quantity, in this case, six triangles, and the second term represents a different quantity, in this case, four squares. Ratios can also be expressed in fraction form as a numerator over a denominator. And just like fractions, they can be reduced to lowest terms. Dividing the top and bottom by the same number reduces a fraction, in this case to 3 over 2. For a ratio, we divide the left and right side by the same number. It also reduces to 3 to 2. A two-term part-to-whole ratio, meaning we have parts and then the whole quantity. We'll do an example here to show you this. We'll use the same example we had of six triangles and four squares to show you what a part-to-whole ratio is. So for the triangles, they represent six triangles to ten total objects. For the squares, there are four squares to ten total objects. So the triangles and squares together make up ten objects, and this becomes a part-to-whole ratio. Part to whole ratios can be reduced, so we can divide the left and right side by 2, giving us 3 to 5 and 2 to 5. They can be written as fractions, 3 fifths and 2 fifths respectively. Also, if we divide the numerator by denominator, we can convert these to decimals. 3 divided by 5 is 0.6 and 2 divided by 5 is 0.4. And if they can be written as decimals, if we multiply them by 100, that means we can also write them as percentages. So this would be 60% triangles and 40% squares. Two-term part-to-whole ratios can be written in many different forms. They can be written with a colon, 6 to 10. They can be written as a fraction, 6 over 10. Or you can even write them with words. 6 out of 10, or quite often they put the word 2, T-O, in between as well. These can all be reduced. Divide top and bottom by 2, or left and right by 2. So these can all be reduced to 3 to 5, or 3 over 5. We can change to a decimal. 3 divided by 5 is 0.6. And we can change the decimal to a percent by simply multiplying by 100. So these are all the forms that ratios can take. Let's do an example of a three-term part-to-part-to-part ratio. Firstly, let's organize all of our information again. We have three moons, six happy faces, and nine hearts. So the ratio would be three to six to nine. We can reduce this ratio by simply dividing each one of these three terms by 3, and that would give us a 1 to 2 to 3 ratio. Let's express each one of these three parts as a part to whole ratio. The whole, in this case, if we have 1, 2, and 3, would be out of 6. The moons would be 1 to 6 as a ratio. The happy faces would be 2 to 6 as a ratio and the hearts would be 3 to 6 as a ratio. We can reduce the second and third ratios. We can reduce the second ratio by dividing each term by 2. So that would be 1 to 3. And we can divide for the third ratio each term by 3, giving us a 1 to 2 ratio. Let's write these in fraction form. So for the first ratio, it would be 1 over 6. The second ratio would be 1 over 3 and the third ratio would be 1 over 2. Now let's change into decimal form. To convert to decimals, we simply divide. 1 divided by 6, 1 divided by 3, and 1 divided by 2. 
gives us decimal one with six repeating, decimal three repeating for the second ratio, and decimal five for the third ratio. Now let's convert them to percents. Notice it says to the nearest percent. So we'll write these to the nearest whole number. Multiply these decimals by 100. That will round to 17% for the first one, 33% for the second ratio, and 50% for the last ratio.